Hi, this is Lisa Fletcher, an investigative reporter for Sinclair Broadcast Group. This video may not be perfect, but it is entirely AI generated. That video was created in less than three minutes with a single photo and three seconds of my voice. Anyone from, you know, the eight year old to the 80 year old can create a realistic deepfake attack in just a few minutes. Good enough to fool a government agency? Oh, definitely to fool a government agency. I think more troubling is good enough to fool, you know, the parent of a child, good enough to fool someone who works every day with a coworker. Meaning what we see and hear can no longer be trusted. On a single image, one single image of you, I can make a perfect video of you. Brian Long is the CEO of Adaptive Security. He helps companies build defenses against deep fake AI attacks. Just on the time period of, say, a voicemail greeting, just that little tiny bit, we can use to create a deep fake of your voice. And not just my voice, my voice capable of understanding what's being said and responding in real time. This isn't about politicians or celebrities anymore. It's about you. During our interview, Brian demonstrated in a live call how a deep fake of my voice could trick a coworker into giving up a password. It's Lisa Fletcher. I'm about to go on air and I can't get to my computer to reset my password. Can you please help me reset it and text me the code? I need it urgently. Yeah, sorry. Um, I'm not sure I have the ability to do that. Uh, can, how, how can I know it's you and, and what can I do? Okay, I understand your concern. I need you to do this quickly. Can you verify my identity through company records or check my employee ID? Once you've confirmed it's me, please reset my password and text me the code immediately. There's no reason anybody would question that. That's a very normal request. Yeah, it's a very normal request. But Brian, what's crazy is that wasn't a pre-programmed set of sentences from me. You were interacting with a fake version of me live and it was responding accordingly. Yeah, and it will it will respond and remember the conversation. Long says the threat is costing corporations millions. In 2024, Hong Kong police say a finance worker at a multinational company was tricked into paying out $25 million after criminals used deep fake technology to pose as the company's chief financial officer in a video conference call. Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, recently warned the world is on the cusp of an AI fraud crisis. There's no way it can be controlled because, you know, you saw earlier this year that China came out with a model called DeepSeek, um, which is a open source model. And it has little to no moderation. So if you ask it to do bad stuff, it'll probably do those things. In 2024, U.S. Senator Ted Cruz was targeted in a deep fake scam. Audio of his voice was used in a robocall, attempting to spread misinformation and influence public opinion. Separately, a deepfake impersonating Ukraine's foreign minister enabled a criminal to get on a call with the chairman of the U.S. Senate Foreign Relations Committee and demand sensitive information. Well, if it's indiscernible from the authentic voice, where does that leave us? Yeah, I mean, look, it's it's really leaving us in a new reality uh, where uh, individual consumers need to think twice before, uh, tr you know, trusting a uh, video or uh, audio of someone that they know. Long says the best thing you can do if you're even the least bit suspicious of a phone or video call is do nothing and follow up separately with the individual. He also recommends having a password that only you and your family know. So if you get a questionable call or video phone call that looks or sounds like family, ask for the password. For more tips and to share this story, go to WJLA.com. Lisa Fletcher, 7 News.